starting line, the Pro Stocks ready to go. This man has been having lots of problems all season long. Bob Glidden is beginning, though, to get his Ford EXP sorted out here at the Spring Nationals. For Warren Johnson, his 1980 Oldsmobile Starfire is in the semifinals, but he's got his work cut out for him as Glidden has been running exceptionally well with his shotgun motored Ford. 500 cubic inches for each for the Oldsmobile, for the Ford. The weight of the cars, 2,300 pounds. The driver makes all the difference, and it's a red light for Warren Johnson. He left the starting line too soon. He knew he had to take a chance. He tried, he got there first, but back at the starting line, the red light in his lane indicates he left too soon. For Bob Glinton, another over 170 mile an hour pass in that 40 XP. A pair of Chevrolets, the world champion in the far lane, Lee Shepard, driving for Rare and Morrison out of Arlington, Texas, will be racing the man that finished number three in the world last season. That's Frank Iaconio. He's from Totowa, New Jersey. A perfect start. The two Chevy Camaros leaving the line as if they're one. It appears to be Lee Shepard by just about a few inches over Frank Iaconio. A 7.96 second elapsed time over 173 miles an hour as we watch again. There they are, side by side, a few hundred feet off the starting line and going to the finish line, 1,320 feet away by inches. It is Lee Shepard. He's a little bit slower, but he got to the finish line first, indicating Frank Iaconio late off the starting line. The finals, Shepard versus Glidden. 